America, sweet land of liberty, land of opportunity, and I'd like to take this opportunity to talk to you about something that may well change the way you and your family live forever. As many of you will know, we have recently made contact with life forms not of this planet. Now we must prepare ourselves for what could and probably will happen. So I'm here today to share with you the next chapter in the history of mankind. So come with me as we prepare for Invasion, your guide to our new friends. Danger, it's all around us. From the threat of communism, to simply walking down the street. But with the correct measures, you can help protect yourself from the danger. And so we begin by learning just how to protect yourself from the danger. You will know when the invasion comes. We hope it never does, but we must be ready. And to help you to be ready, I'm going to show you how to defend yourself against the aliens wherever you may be. If you are in your homes when the invasion begins, be good and sure to prepare yourself with weapons. A simple defense is using a cooking pan, like this one here. Men and children, if you don't know where these are in your home, ask your wife or your mom. She'll help you out. Other weapons found in the home may include knives, like this one here. The best way to defend yourself from an alien is either by slicing the throat, or as an extreme measure, my personal favorite, disembowelment. This will stop your foe right in his tracks. So now you know how to defend yourself at home. Let's see how to defend yourself elsewhere. work, you can use any tools you have close at hand, like a spanner, or like this trusty chainsaw. Or in the garden, use a fork. And ladies, you can rest assured that while your man is out playing around with his friends, that he too has a weapon at hand. So now that you're prepared for the worst, you know what to do should that day come when our intergalactic cohabitants come down to Earth to enslave humanity. But you never know, they could turn out to be friendly. <laughs> but in all seriousness, folks, they probably just want to kill us all. So that you're as ready as you ever will be, I'm going to now show you just how to spot an alien. In this day and age, children should know not to talk to strangers. But now, in light of the recent contact, this is more important than ever. This is Robert. Say hello to the nice people, Robert. He's your average human male. Easy to spot, wouldn't you say? Robert's around six feet tall with two arms, two legs, which attach around the central torso area, which contains most of the human's vital organs. Now what you're about to see is the result of years of searching and government research. We have contained within a specimen of alien life form, the likes of which may well be on their way 
to our planet as we speak. But be warned, seeing this could save your life, but it is by no means pretty. Some younger viewers may wish to look away right...